A few years ago, I saw Jay Silver, who is one of the guys behind the Makey Makey. Um, he had this thing he called a draw Duino and was using it to make sounds based on resistance and conductivity. and It was pretty cool. And until recently, um, I hadn't gotten my hands on one, but I saw this at uh, Banggood, so I ordered it and I thought I'd show it to you. As you can see, it's a nice kit. Comes with uh, all the parts that you need. Um, the main part is the circuit board with the speaker and the battery um, holder on it. The batteries they use are these uh, rechargeable uh, 2032 cells. And uh, comes with two of them. Uh, and they also, and this is really nice, give you a USB charger so you can recharge them. So, to put it together, it's pretty simple. Um, you, uh, you start with a pencil and uh, you need to sharpen it. And uh, then you attach it to the circuit board there using uh, zip ties. It's not under a lot of stress, so it doesn't have to be really strong. You could use other ways, but this works really well. I found it a little easier to start the zip ties without the pencil first and then put the pencil in and uh, tighten it up. When you put the pencil in, make sure that uh, more of the bottom of the pencil sticks out because that's the part that you're going to hold. Okay, the next part is to connect the, the uh, top and bottom connector to the lead or to the pencil at least. So I started with the top one and there's a little connector that uh, runs across the top and you cut a piece of this uh, copper foil and connect it to the uh, top connector and then you're going to need a thumbtack and you want to make sure you put the thumbtack into the uh, graphite to the center of the pencil there. And Once you get the thumbtack into the center of the pencil then you fold the foil on top to make a connection with the graphite. The bottom is a little simpler. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do it in the instructions uh, that are on Banggood. You just put a straight piece here, but I've seen it done where you sort of wrap it around, make sure you get good contact. So one end of the copper strip goes onto the bottom uh, connector and then it just kind of gets wrapped around the pencil. Something I learned here is don't go all the way down because you're going to want to sharpen the pencil again and you don't want the copper uh, tape to sort of get in the way. You put the battery in and you're pretty much done. Okay, let's give it a try. The theory is that you make a circuit um, with your body and the graphite and the uh, controller board there, your, your little uh, circuit board so the electricity can sort of feed um, all the way around passing through you and the line that you make on the paper uh, and uh, based on the conductivity slash resistance of that circuit it'll make noise. Now you see it doesn't work quite as good as I expected here and one of the things I found out is uh, unfortunately I found this later is if you draw the lines that you're making here with the, the pencil sort of laid over a little more flat to the paper instead of perpendicular to the paper you can get a longer line and, uh, and better conductivity. These sort of uh, deep skinny lines don't work very well. But they do work. So I'm trying again to make a very conductive little line here. As you can see, you can go from pretty much full conductivity to no conductivity in just an inch or two. But what if you had something more conductive than the graphite line? Here I'm using a piece of the copper tape that came with the kit very conductive. No difference no matter the length of the circuit.
but what about cheese? Yes, this is conductive Colby. Does mass affect conductivity? No. Let's try something between graphite pencil lines and cheese, like water. More precisely, wet paper. That's what I'm talking about. Let's hear a tune, maybe. Make it stop. If a little water is good, what about a lot of water? I was curious to find out how much power this little circuit board uh, draws, and uh, it was uh, it was not bad. It's right around two volts, which means that little CR or LIR twenty thirty two ought to last a little while. They do give you two, which is really nice. And more importantly, they give you this charger. It'll charge up to about 4.2 volts, and then that uh, uh, light will come on. The, uh, the uh, uh, blue light will come on. It's red when it's charging. So all in all, I think it's a pretty nice kit. The pencil is just a regular pencil. You should use something with soft lead. Um, they really give you all the parts. They give you two pieces of the of the copper strip there, so um, it should last for a while. And uh, it was kind of nice. You can see the battery is fully charged, and even though these are usually 3.3, you can see this has a voltage of uh, almost 4.2 volts. So there you have it. Pretty nice, and uh, uh, you know, I I think I can recommend it. It was about uh, twelve dollars from Banggood. I can. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description.